It shouldn't come as a surprise that a good quality RAM kit will influence greatly any build, especially smaller machines like my new Intel NUC 11 Phantom Canyon where every ounce of performance is highly noticed. Another main factor is the JDEC compatibility, because not all mini PCs, and this includes laptops as well, possess the ability to apply the XMP profiles of the fancy gaming sodium kits in their BIOS. Thus, you leave a lot of capability on the table if your kit is automatically downclocked by the computer since it can't run anything above 1.2 volts. This being said, let's have a look at 64GB DDR4 Sodium Kit from Sabrent's Rocket Series that runs natively at 3200MHz CL22 and more importantly at 1.2V. It retails for around 150 bucks, which is not bad considering you are maxing out most dual-channel DDR4 Sodium machines. Its main competition, at least from what I can see at current prices, is Kingston with their Fury Impact models which offer better timings out of the box but understandably cost more. I always love the minimal yet effective branding of Sabren products with ample of protection as well despite this tiny size. Now I want to talk about Sabren's decision regarding this copper heat spreader. As you can see it's a one piece and it rolls over from one side to another. I'm pointing this out since you will need to firmly place on the heat spreaders to make them flush when installing the memory modules horizontally on top of each other. Otherwise they will not click into place exactly what happened to me in the Phantom Canyon. Besides that, there's nothing else to address, so let's jump into the tests. I know the graphs look a bit aggressive regarding the visual difference, but the actual percentage is small judging by the numbers. In all synthetics, my 32GB Fury Impact Kit has better results and even better latency over the Sabrent because of those out of the box better timings. However, in Valhalla, the Sabrent Kit has better low 1% and max FPS numbers. Since most laptops and mini PCs are more sensitive to RAM than a full desktop PC, it's very important that you get the best combo of specs that you can. Consequently, these kits from Sabrent offer great value for money if you need 64GB of Sodium DDR4 RAM. If you want tighter timings at the same capacity, you need to spend a bit more since tweaking and overclocking is limited on these machines. 